The House Judiciary Subcommittee held a hearing revisiting the implications of the FACE Act. The Freedom of Access to Clinic Entrances Act of 1994 ensures Americans access to pro-life and pro-abortion health services. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with more. Eric? Well, good evening, Tracy. You know, the FACE Act is at the center of legal scrutiny since the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe. Among those testifying today was Catholic sidewalk counselor Mark Houck. He was arrested by the FBI and eventually acquitted in federal court. Now, he tells me that the FBI's use of force to arrest him was unjustified. We said we would come uh, into your office. You don't need to bring a disruption to his family. You don't need to scare his children. You don't need to terrorize them. It was just a, a totally reckless endeavor on the part of the government. Hauk told lawmakers his story of the FBI arrest, how 20 armed agents came to his house, pounded on his door, and held guns on his family. Just like the recent Durham report showed, Hauk claims it's another example of the weaponization of the FBI. The intention was to humiliate me, to scare my children, and to instill fear in pro-life America. Since the overturning of Roe, pro-life pregnancy care center workers testified about hundreds of attacks on centers and Catholic churches. There have been numerous false narratives and outright lies told about the work of pregnancy centers. Minnesota is sadly one of the many states that have quickly turned into a hostile environment for pro-women, life-affirming organizations like ours. Committee members tell me current FBI regulations are not being followed and suggest more drastic action. And there's but one way to fix it, I think, that is we, that they're the funding that goes to the to those departments has to be has to be cut in an extremely material way. You've got to see reorganization of that entire branch of government. Mark Houck tells me since he was acquitted, he's filed a lawsuit against the FBI and still continues with his mission as a sidewalk counselor outside the abortion clinic, attempting to save the lives of the unborn. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN, News Nightly.